Prince Harry's recent visit to Europe didn't include a reunion with his father, King Charles. His trip had a mix of charity events and commemorations, including marking the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's passing and participating in the Invictus Games in Germany alongside Meghan Markle. Prior to Harry's London visit, there were speculations about a possible meeting on September 17, but sources close to King Charles and Prince William dismissed these claims. Reportedly, Harry made a request through the King's Office for Royal Accommodation and Security for a one-night stop in the UK for the Well Child Charity event and Chelsea match in Dusseldorf the following day. However, a senior aide informed Harry that no London residences or Windsor Castle were available for his use. This situation has prompted some observers to comment on Harry's financial reliance on his father and his ongoing public appearances. They raised questions about his charitable work and whether he can achieve another endeavor of the scale of the Invictus Games, given his current circumstances. Prince William, on the other hand, has gained the trust of King Charles in various matters, demonstrating his commitment to supporting his father. William's recent trip to the U.S., where he garnered positive attention, underscores his growing role as the future heir to the throne. He has openly stated his intention to honor Queen Elizabeth's memory by supporting King Charles in his royal duties. Royal biographer Angela Levin suggested that King Charles is allowing William to make his own decisions in preparation for his role as the future monarch. William's dedication to the monarchy and his charisma set him apart from his brother Harry, leading experts to believe that he is preparing to carry on the royal legacy for generations to come. Meanwhile, Royal experts believe Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have ultimately lost the war, in their bid to win the battle. Insights into all of this have been brought to light by royal commentator Daniela Elzer. In this piece she warned fans about the lack of respect Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may be inviting within the U.S. She began by saying, in the fight with Buckingham Palace for American hearts and minds, Harry and Meghan are now looking like, while they might have won a few battles, ultimately they have lost the war. Before concluding she also added, the Sussexes might have thrown the monarchy and William and Kate under the bus, repeatedly, but Lazarus like the prince and princess are enjoying approval ratings that are perkier than a surgically enhanced C-cup. Or, King Charles is reportedly unhappy with Prince Harry undermining his work. The Duke of Sussex is accused of stealing the spotlight from his father's efforts with the monarchy with his need to make the headlines. But writing for the Times, Royal expert Roy Nika tells Times that His Majesty's private problems continue to make the headlines despite his work. She added, as per a source, it frustrates him that personal issues intrude on the public duty. He'd much rather the focus was on his work, not the soap opera of the private life. It is always frustrating when family dynamics overshadow the public role. This comes as King Charles continues to retain Prince Harry as his counselor of estate despite taking away his home in the UK.